Hey everyone, welcome back to Bonecraft Academy. Today we're talking about one of the most important but often overlooked parts of recovery, what you can eat after a dental bone graft. The first few days after surgery are critical. What you eat during this time has a big impact on how well your graft heals. The right foods can help reduce inflammation, protect the surgical site, and give your body the nutrients it needs to form new bone. The wrong foods, on the other hand, can delay healing or even disturb the graft. Let's start with the first 24 hours. During this time, your main goal is to protect the graft and keep the area clean. Stick to soft, cool foods that don't require chewing. Examples include yogurt, pudding, applesauce, smoothies, and blended soups. Avoid using straws because the suction can dislodge the blood clot that protects the graft. After the first day, you can slowly add more variety to your diet, but it's still important to avoid anything hard, crunchy, spicy, or very hot. Stay away from nuts, chips, crusty bread, and anything that could break apart and irritate the surgical site. Choose foods that are soft and easy to chew, like mashed potatoes, scrambled eggs, oatmeal, soft pasta, and cooked vegetables. Protein is one of the most important nutrients for bone healing. Try adding soft sources of protein like eggs, tofu, fish, or protein smoothies. If you eat meat, choose tender cuts that don't require heavy chewing. Hydration also plays a key role in recovery. Drink plenty of water throughout the day, but again, avoid straws and carbonated drinks. Alcohol should be avoided for at least a week, as it can interfere with healing and medications. Some dentists recommend cold foods during the first 48 hours, such as smoothies or cold soup, to help reduce swelling. After that, warm foods are fine, but avoid extremes in temperature. By day 5 to 7, most patients can start introducing more regular foods, as long as they don't disturb the surgical area. You'll know you're ready when you can chew comfortably and the tenderness has gone down. Still try to chew on the opposite side until your dentist confirms the graft is stable. You might notice mild swelling or soreness after meals early on. That's completely normal. Just be gentle with brushing and rinsing and follow your dentist's post-operative instructions carefully. A few key tips to remember. Take your medications as prescribed. Eat slowly and mindfully. Keep your mouth clean, but don't rinse aggressively. And always listen to your body. If something feels uncomfortable, wait a bit longer before trying that food again. Proper nutrition doesn't just help the graft heal. It helps your entire body recover faster. Your bone cells need protein, calcium, vitamin D, and other minerals to form new bone. So the better you eat, the stronger your final result will be. To summarize. Soft, cool foods at first. Avoid hard or spicy foods. Stay hydrated. Add protein and nutrients as you go. And take it one step at a time. Most patients return to a normal diet within one to two weeks depending on the size and location of the graft. By following these simple guidelines, you'll heal faster, stay comfortable, and protect your investment in long-term dental health. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like it, subscribe to Bone Graft Academy, and share it with someone recovering from a bone graft or dental implant procedure. We post new educational videos every week to help you understand modern dentistry in simple, clear language. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.